bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Hose Bear Reviews. We are back with another review. This is Scott and I'm Jeff. Damn it. <laughs> Mr. Freeze is here. Yeah, you got that one right. At least. And we're doing another beer review. Yes. Uh, another donation from Eric Wenzel. This one's uh, from Fox Farm again. Yeah. Uh, Salem, Connecticut. He likes Fox Farm and so do we. So that's like a match made in heaven. What excites you about this beer the most? Um, the fact that it's 10% alcohol. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> How about you? I like the, uh, it's batch number one, bottle 102 of 840. Yeah. So we even got a low number, really. Right. This is, uh, yeah. So if you want to get I this. I thought that was cool. You got to get the Fox Farm pretty soon. What farm? Fox Farm. Fox Farm. Yes. 15 bucks a bottle. Eric, thank you. Yes, Eric, thank you very much. Um, not a ton of information on their site. I clicked on the, the beer and it just had the logo and the percentage. So I guess we'll find out. All I could find was aged in bourbon barrels with mm. vanilla bean. No, oh, that's not a bad thing. So if you guys want to find out more about Fox Farm, uh, we'll put some videos up top of uh, a couple growlers we reviewed from them. So uh, you can check those out. We're not going to waste your time with more brewery information. There isn't a ton anyways, but... Um, I'm cracking it open. Yeah, go ahead. So apparently, uh, I've been told by Eric's brother Brian, who's been a guest on the show, that uh, Fox Farm likes to name their beers after places uh, that are somewhat around the, the farm. So, uh, which meadow, I guess, is uh, close by to the farm? I can only guess what goes on there. Yeah. In Salem, too. Not not the Salem that we're thinking of, though, right? The witch, the witch trial. The witch is in Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. But there could be some witch confusion, and some of them show up in Connecticut. Yeah, there's a couple of Salem's. Wow, look at that. That is like... That is like a uh, tan pavement. <laughs> it looks awesome. Head up. <laughs> Impressive. So this is a... 16.9 ounce. Don't push it over to get I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 500 milliliters. Um, it looks great. I can't wait to get my nose in there. And to wet my lips on it. Let's, uh, you just give the size of the bottle? Is that what you just said? Yes. 500 milliliters or 16.9 ounces. Half a liter. Exactly. Yeah. Did, did we find out? Is that the Imperial? I think, I think that's the Imperial pint. It's like, you know. Americans do everything different, so everything will basically wrong, and we don't want to change it because we're stubborn. Um, let's give it a smell. Stick our nose in it. Nice. It smells like everything it's brewed about, you know. Yep. Yeah. The vanilla, the bourbon uh, barrels. Yeah, I'm getting wood. all of it. Mm -hmm. Not too much vanilla though yeah. for me, but just lots of roasted. Roasted malts and um, mm -hmm. just full flavored, you can tell. Uh, the head went down fairly quick, although we were yapping a bit, but it is lacing up quite a bit on there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my mouth is watering. How about you? As well. Let's get into it. Cheers, sir. To you. Wow. All right. Uh, shoot. I thought it was going to taste stronger. Okay. The flavors are all there. I mean, like, alcohol strength. I could smell it more than I can taste it. It's, uh, it's good. For a 10% uh, stout bourbon-aged, mm. it's fairly smooth. Very smooth. Right away, it reminded me of uh, The Great Divide's Yeti. Yeah, well, that's a lot. It's, it's kind of the same type of beer. Um, Yeti was something Jeff and I were drinking, God, 15 years ago when we would go camping, and that was kind of our beer to start the night. We would uh, 
have one of those, huh? Split a oak 20. aged Yeti and uh, bomber. Wow, that would get you going. But um, yeah, this beer is uh, it's full flavored. I mean, if if, um, if you're not used to bourbon barrel aged beers, right. stay away. Yeah, and nah, it's e good. And even like a, a heavy stout, but uh, somebody uh, like my friend Chris Creighton would uh, he would love this. Uh, the percentage is is great, and mm -hmm. uh, you know for the. Well, the, price the price is, is a solid. It's not too bad. It's a, it's a little pricey, but what are you going to do? It's not, not an easy bear to make correctly either, I don't think. Not something you're going to pound. Definitely. No. You, you'd be in trouble. You'd be full of in drunk. Yeah, you'd be going up Weird Street the wrong way. way. Yeah. Then Weird Street's a one way, if you guys didn't know. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've been there? No, not really. I've driven no. by it. <laughs> So I, I tried to get some reviews on this, some some scores. Uh, obviously, there's not a lot out. There's only 840 bottles available. Uh, Beer Advocate only had two scores. They were very high, but we're going to throw that out because it's two scores. Untapped, 4.3 out of 5, and that's uh, 329. That's a lot of rankings. 329 rankings. So that really only leaves about, uh, what, 500 of these left in the world for you guys to get. So this is an exclusive beer. And Eric Wenzel was nice enough to, to let us try That's this. Three hundred and thirty. What did they say? Eight hundred and forty. Yeah. So yep. you're talking there's uh you know, <laughs> there's five, about five hundred of these. Five hundred and ten. Ah, amazing. We are blessed. We are. <laughs> but uh, what what do you think out of uh, five for this one? Me? Yeah, you. Overall. Mm-hmm. I'll go overall a four, four point four five. Oh, you're going with the Wenzel method with the well, yeah, hundredths. No. Yeah. <laughs> four four five. You said four four five. All right, I'm uh, I'm going four two, four point okay. two. Um, I'm kind of hoping for a little more vanilla, maybe a mm. little more creaminess. I, but I think it's tough with all that alcohol in it. Maybe if it was eight percent, a lot of that would show through. See, I like the I like the body of it, the mouthfeel and everything. Sometimes these get to a point where it's really hard to hide the booziness of them. I don't right. mind. This that is so far much. from that. I, I enjoy a barley wine style mm -hmm. like that. Um, but yeah, I wish there was a little more creaminess, a little more mm -hmm. vanilla. But it's still an excellent beer. I think it's great. Um, I think it's cool that Fox Farm can do IPAs very well and something like this. They're not just a one-trick uh, right. one trick pony. Yeah, everything we have is really, really good. So, yeah, so our ratings are pretty much in line with the other 329 on Untapped. We're right around, we're right between it, actually. I was a 4.2 and you were a 4.4 something, whatever. 4.45. Repeating? Eh, no. No. So we're, we're, we're uh, you know, right around it. Yeah. Right around the average. And that's what we do. We're just giving you a simple beer review, not getting too technical. Nope. And uh, we always do these in one take, so if we screw up, you're going to see it. And we're going to post it. We don't screw up often, though. Not really. But um, check us out on craftbeardiaries.com. Yeah. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe to the video down below with Jeff. Click on there. You can get notifications. We put videos up every other day with reviews. Uh, we're trying to stay tight on that schedule. So, uh... As of right now, when we're filming this, we got, I just put up 44, review number 44 tonight, and we've got a bunch on uh, ready to go in the editing room, in the cutting yes. room. So, yes. um, we're, gonna, we're just going to keep cranking these out. We've got a fridge full of donations and some stuff that we picked up. So, uh, stay with us, and we will keep doing this. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, check us out on the, yeah. the website. Yeah. That's it. Give us recommendations. Tell us what to do. Right. Well, Go easy today. <laughs> that, that's all I got. That's it for this one. Enjoy your night. We'll see you next time. French Oz Beer Reviews. Thanks, guys. All right. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French Oz.